This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice and other state leaders kicked off the Jobs and Hope West Virginia program at the Putnam Career and Technical Center. And it was just as simple. We had to reach out and truly give the people that were affected by these terrible drugs treatment and us pay for it. And the next thing we then needed to do was train them. Train them to be able to go do something. Train them with real stuff to where they could really be able to do something. And then give them pathways like a pathway of expungement or a pathway to get your driver's license back, a pathway to come back into society. The governor also presented hundreds of thousands of dollars in grants for major improvement projects at 11 airports around the state. Our airport needs all that we can possibly pour into our airport. We need to make everything in the world happen right here because like it or not like it, in my opinion, airports are our lifeblood. There's where everything starts as far as our economic engines. The West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture and History and the VH1 Save the Music Foundation presented music grants at nine West Virginia middle schools. It was announced that the West Virginia tourism industry has outpaced national growth by 58%. And the governor and first lady attended the Black Walnut Festival in Roan County. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.